Uh, but some residents in the northern region capital, Tamale, are calling for increased security in Tamale and its environs to protect lives and property. They say they've either been victims or seen a wide range of violent crimes, including armed robbery and assault. They lament arms are in wrong hands and people tend to use them at the least provocation. As we draw closer to the elections, Johnny is puts the spotlight on security within communities across the country and seeks answers from those in authority. Today we begin from the northern region capital, Tamale, where Martina Bugri reports. The northern region has had its fair share of robberies and violent crimes this year. Areas noted for these crimes include Vitin, Kapa Yilufuo, communities around the School of Hygiene and circulated areas in the metropolis and its environs. Famous among these crimes were the Vitin mobile money robbery, the Kapa Yili fuel station robbery where one person was killed, the robbery of a forest bureau operator and the near rape of an 18-year-old girl whose rescuer was killed. We used to hardly record what we call armed robbery or serious theft cases. But of late, you even find it very difficult to ride your motor from 9 p.m. and onwards. So these days, if at least the authorities will be able to help curb it, put what we call the operation come life, so that we will be putting a lot of checkpoints on our roads, it will be able to help us. There was a tax in Tamale here, especially the, the filling station, mobile money vendors. Initially, when the issue started, they attacked uh, one filling station around Kapa Ayile, near the chief palace. And they killed the watchman and took everything from them. The, the state institutions, they intend to arrange, arrive, arrange some items like security barriers and the rest in town. So all they said, with this short, some short period, they stopped. Understand? After that, they begin to do the, the, the issue arise again. They start attacking mobile money vendors. We have to let them do, to be very alert. You know, not on the union, we don't feel safe at all. With less than a month to go to the polls, the residents are worried with the already volatile situation and arms in wrong hands. The region may not be able to handle additional political violence. They are therefore calling for increased security in the area. We are not at ease because of what is happening currently. Young guys, people picking their motorbikes, breaking into people's rooms. When it comes to political tensions too, the kind of pronouncements people make at times is case as the security the police the fire all the security agencies they should come together to collaborate for the gun aspect it, now it is it's all about if you have money if you come they will sell for you without registration without registering it right now we don't feel safe and we are heading towards election there was patrol team in town but you know, what they always do, what they always do is that the patrol, the patrol team do only patrol in Tamale Central, around this area. They don't go to the the, uh, the outskirts like Kapa Ayili, Sanergu, Kupo, uh, Wodke and the rest. The residents say they are afraid to stay out late beyond 10 p.m. Martin Abugri with that report. Let's speak to... Abia Fuseni, he's Member of Parliament for Sanirugu. Thank you for joining the show this morning, sir. Uh, so we had uh, the last person in that report saying that the patrols are usually um, conducted or done in the Tamale Central Metropolis and you don't have places like Sanirugu uh, having the patrols that Tamale Central will have. Would you want to confirm that? Yeah, uh, let me say uh, uh, good morning to all your listeners. Um, First and foremost, it's important first and foremost to situate this in the proper national context. Okay. I think the general overall security situation in the country seriously is uh, deteriorated. And uh, this, this is at a time when uh, uh, this government has had the highest uh, 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 security in infrastructure. I mean, in terms of the persons that are manning our security, it's unprecedented numbers. And so you ask yourself well, what is happening in respect of the deterioration when even larger numbers are committed to protecting uh, the good people of this country. And so that's the first thing. And uh, staring down to our decision, obviously there, there have been uh, concerns, especially in the outskirts where uh, some acts of uh, criminality have been stepped up, especially 
in the Tamil metropolis and others where uh, the phenomenon of stealing people's motorbikes because of the uh, lucrative nature of motorbikes uh, in, 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 in the Tamil area. And, and so this has been a cause of worry. Indeed, we are, there have been times when we have mounted uh, some uh, 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 security checks uh, with, with participation of the citizenry to deal with some of those issues. Not too long ago, for instance, in Sanargo, it had to take the uh, collective effort of people in the community to apprehend a group, a group, a, a group of criminals who even murdered somebody and took his motorbike, and uh, for for those groups to be unmasked, and uh, right. with 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 the participation of mm. uh, uh, the citizens of the area, they were accordingly handed over to the police. Mm. Uh, as we speak now, mm. we are even waiting for decisive action against the, those hoodlums. Mm. But it, it it goes without saying that. Uh, security is a collective issue, all right. which uh, 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 all of us have plans to participate. We, we are uh, going to uh, uh, help the security as well. And so I, as a member of parliament, I've had occasion to even make uh, a representation to the district uh, uh, security, uh, this and to endeavor to uh, uh, expand their operations to cover the outlying areas where, because of the intensity of security at the center, they have moved to the outlying areas. All right. So, uh, Mr. Fuseni, can you hear me, please? Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, did I get you in your earlier submission, uh, do I get a sense that you do not support the uh, deployment of police to protect, to protect MPs? You don't fully support that idea? No, uh, I didn't say that. I always said that, for me, the best uh, solution to our security decision as members of parliament is to have a a collective security for all Ghanaians. Okay. But if it's possible for the, the country to be secure, <laughs> no MP will need any security. Uh -huh. And so I'm, look, I'm tying it in the context of security for all Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. I agree that given the exigencies of our time, uh, 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 MPs need security. There's no doubt about that. Okay. Uh, uh, MPs have uh, come on duly under attack for, for virtually no, 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 no uh, uh, justifiable reason. And, and so I think that some form of protection, as, 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 without doubt, mm. is, is needed for MPs. I have not, by any stretch of any imagination, made any such statement. But All I'm right. just indicating that we should go beyond that and look at the generality of security protection for Ghanaians. And when Ghanaians are secure, when the government is able to create a very congenial atmosphere for the safety and security of all persons, people can move out of town, do their businesses, do whatever they want to do, and come back in safety and security. Mm. That is the best form of security for all Ghanaians. And so I, I am looking beyond just uh, the narrow confines of collective security to a collective security where every Ghanaian, and, and let me put it on record, that this government has a bounding responsibility to, to, to secure Ghanaians. Okay. The promise that they made in the run-up to the 2016 election, they told Ghanaians that they will have total security, they will have nothing to fear. Go and read the MPC manifesto. Now we come and it is the opposite. Mm. I think it's an indictment, especially at a time when we have the highest number of people National Security Minister, Deputy National Security Minister, Minister of State in charge of National Security, IGP. You can count them. This is the highest in the history of our country. Yet yeah, this is one of the most insecure periods. Mr. Fusaini, we have yes. 20 days to the elections and uh, many fear that the cases we are reporting in many parts of the country with regards to violence can affect voter turnout uh, due to fear of such incidents recurring during the electioneering period. What are you doing as an MP and uh, working together with uh, those on the ground and other local authorities to ensure that your constituency is safe and your constituents can go out to vote on election day? Yes, uh, let me first and foremost, as member of parliament, and in, in fact, the minority, we had the occasion through parliament to call the Minister for Interior to come and give us a brief as to what security measures have been taken to ensure that uh, 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 not only the election, but Ghanaians uh, in, their, in their homes and in their the various businesses and environment are safe. The Minister of Interior came to give us the assurance that uh, police numbers are being beefed up. They, 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 they are getting uh, uh, more personnel to deploy into the outlying areas so that they can uh, secure persons and secure areas which hitherto had not been covered. But beyond that, I think that all of us as, as a people have a duty to, 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 to also participate. Uh, as member of parliament, I'm, I'm, I'm conscious that we need to also mobilize our people. Towards mm -hmm. the elections, we need to get everybody involved in security mm -hmm. matters. 
so that uh, uh, areas where any mischief maker wants to come there and cause mischief, the collective will of the people can defeat any mischief maker. So in our various communities, our various uh, branches and police stations, everybody will be mobilized to make sure that on the day of elections and others, uh, uh, everybody participates in ensuring that the place is secure. So people will come out, vote and remain, and make sure that no mischief maker comes there to cause any trouble. Any trouble maker who comes there will face the entire community. Mm -hmm. And I can show that if you want to face the entire community, it's your own business. See whether you can face the entire community and get away. Mm -hmm. so when, when you say face the entire community, everybody. what do you mean? Mr. Mr. Fusaini, when you say face the entire community, what do you mean? Are you talking you about mean, mob I mean, justice? I mean everybody in any community. Do you mean mob the, justice? In the so when you vote, you must, you, must, you, must, you must stay around and show, not just at the police station, but just be around and make sure that no mischief maker comes there to cause any trouble. So it's important that everybody gets involved in the election that we are going in so that we have a very peaceful decision. I think that if everybody is assured that, look, nobody can come here and do anything and get away, everybody will, will feel a sense of security. So that is why we are saying that the participation of everybody is essential. So in our various communities, everybody will be encouraged to take active interest in, in the election, not just to go and vote, but to vote and ensure that um, the atmosphere around the election, around the police station and others are secure. So, no, so that nobody can come and misbehave or do any on top of there. I, I appreciate I mean. all right. I appreciate your time this morning. ABA Fuseni is MP for Sanerugu, and we're speaking to him on the back of our series focusing on security ahead of the elections.